inventory days and inventory turnover ratio, working capital ratios, interpretation of financial statement. So inventory is what a business deals in in its day-to-day operation. So if a business is set up to sell cars, the cars will be their inventory. If they are set up to sell stationery, that will be their inventory. It also includes raw materials and finished goods that a business buys with the intention purposely to sell or use. Many people buy items that they want to use in promoting their business or to help them generate revenue. For example, a business that sells cars will have to buy buildings to help them run the administrative affairs. Inventory is what a business generates revenue from. So if you look at the profit or loss of a business, the revenue item listed above is what they get from the sale of the inventory. If they sell any other item, it will be recorded as an additional or other income. So for example, a school is set up to provide educational services. So the fees they will collect, the sale of stationery and maybe school materials, that will be their revenue. So if they sell their school bus, it will be an other income. And lastly, inventory is a current asset. So it is supposed to be turned around within an accounting period, which is maximum a year. If it goes beyond a year, then there will be some cause for concern. So the inventory days will tell the length of time that its inventory stays in the business. In other words, it will tell the average period that it takes for an inventory to be sold. So when the inventory comes into the business and when it leaves. Now, why is this important? Inventory is invested with money. Okay, you either buy your inventories with money or you buy from your payables on credit. You need to sell these inventories to rake in money. This money will help you settle some of your expenses, arrive at a profit and keep growing. If you're unable to sell this inventory at an appreciable length of time, there will be some liquidity challenges which might affect your ability to stay through in business. Then again, inventory is a current asset which is to be used to settle its current liabilities or short-term debt. I will also tell a business whether the inventory they are trading in is viable because if you are dealing with an inventory that takes an unusual length of time for it to be sold, then there should be a rating whether that business is worth staying in or another should be sought after. Now let's look at the formula for inventory days. The formula is the inventory one has divided by the cost of sales multiplied by 365 days. Now we are looking at the number of days over a year. That's how come we have the 365 days. Cost of sales, the denominator is normally the cost of production or the direct expenses. Let's look at how to analyze the inventory days. So ideally, a business should have the number of days that it will be comfortable for its inventory to stay with them or it will take for them to be sold. Okay, once you calculate the number of days and you compare to the stipulated business days, an analysis can be made. It can also be compared to prior years and industry set inventory days or that of a competitor. When you do so and the days for that particular period is higher, it means that the business is having difficulty in selling its inventory. The likelihood of obsolescence. The inventory that you have, if it's taking longer than usual to sell, some of them can go bad. Once it goes bad, it is the total amount going down the drain or you are supposed to reduce it or incur additional expenses to make it more valid to sell. And lastly, the business can be holding the inventory for future opportunities. There are certain situations where a business buys more than usual inventory. Maybe they need 100 tons of an inventory, but they buy 200 because they want to store it for an opportunity that they have envisaged in the future. So we shouldn't be quick in analyzing the inventory days when it is higher to mean that the business is experiencing some challenges. When the comparison is done and it is lower, it could mean that the business is efficient in selling its inventory. And here, if a business management wants to have a lower inventory days, they can sell more than the quota given for the credit to achieve the favorable ratio. So investigations has to be done. We shouldn't just jump into conclusion. Also, it can mean that the business has lower buffer stock for future opportunities. Let's test our understanding. So the information is in relation to GKA Limited for the years ended 31st December 2021 and 2020. So we have inventories for both years, receivables, bank and cash. We have short-term investment. We have trade payables at year end. We have short-term borrowing. We have 
the revenue for the year and cost of sales. So we are supposed to analyze the inventory day for GKA Limited for the two years. For solution, we restate the formula, which is inventory divided by cost of sales times 365 days. So 2021, the inventory days will be 186. That was arrived at by dividing the inventory of $2,500 by 4,900 multiplied by 365. When we go to 2020, the inventory days will be 213. That was achieved by dividing inventory of 1,750 by cost of sales of 3,000 times 365. So here, on the face of it, you realize that the inventory days has improved from 2020 to 2021. Let's look at possible reasons that can account for that. So as mentioned, it takes 186 days for the inventory to be sold in 2021 and 213 in 2020. So you can also see that the cost of sales increased higher than the increase seen in the inventory. That can also account for the decrease in the inventory days. We can also credit management for having an effective sales and marketing style, being able to sell at a reduced rate. However, the business has more job to do because selling your inventory at an average days of 186 it's highly alarming again this can be compared to the standard set in the business or in the industry before such analysis can be made now we now come to inventory turnover ratio now with this it looks at the frequency of sale of usage of replacement of inventory within a particular accounting year the first one was looking at the number of days it takes for an inventory to be sold but here it's looking at the number of times that that inventory is sold within the year is used or replaced okay as a business you should be able to sell your goods within the year multiple times the more you sell the more revenue you make and here it is worth noting that it depends on the type of inventory involved somebody who sells groceries will have a higher inventory turnover ratio than somebody selling real estate or vehicles you have to compare like for like it is also an indication of how effective a business's sales, pricing, purchases, marketing strategy have been. So a business can have an aggressive sales strategy which can help them sell their goods at a faster rate. Pricing can also mean that their goods go at a value which is in tune with their customers or the target group that they have set. The purchases, they buy materials for the goods to come out at a higher quality. Marketing, they are able to sell the goods to the knowledge of the public for them to come about. The formula is cost of sales divided by inventory. Then we rate it to one. When we analyze this compared to prior year, compared to industry set standard, if it is higher, it means that the business has a team that works so hard to be able to sell the goods many times in a year. It can also mean that the market demand available, the business is not buying or making purchases to that tune. On the other hand, when there is a lower ratio, it can be that the business is having difficulty in selling. It can also mean that they have excess stock in inventory. Once you have more stock, the denominator increases and your ratio drops. Let's test understanding. So DW is a specialized furniture company dealing in high-end home and office furniture. Below are information for the years and the 31st December 2020 and 2019. So we have cost of goods sold, we have the opening inventory, we have the closing inventory. We have to calculate the inventory turnover period for the years ending 2020 and 2019. For solution, we restate the formula. Cost of sales divided by inventory to 1. So in 2020, the ratio will be 1.07 to 1. That was achieved by dividing the cost of sales of 250000 by the inventory of 187000 500 meaning that in 2020 the business was able to sell its inventory 1.07 times more than what it had so they were able to sell it less than two times so in 2019 we had 1.38 to 1 that was also gotten by dividing the cost of sales of 255,000 by the inventory of 162,500 if you look at the two the turnover dropped so you could see that the inventory increased but the cost of sales dropped, meaning they are pricing increase, which made it unattractive for customers to come in, or their sales system or marketing system was ineffective, or something happened that it drew customers away, or the economy caused them and other players in the industry not to experience the level of sales they expected.